want to say a few things before we stop. One is that I've just been, so, it's just been so good hearing from so many of you today. All, already many of you who haven't been able to connect to emotions, just from seeing other people and, and hearing some of the things that they're feeling, you can see the power of that. It's so powerful because it helps you connect with your own emotion. So I, I feel it's been a pretty good day in terms of helping you work your way through some things for, for many of you. I'd also like to thank our children, who most many of whom are not here now, but uh, for uh, for actually being brave enough too to come up. You notice too, one thing I'd like to point out is how readily the children generally come up and how unreadily, if you like, how much resistance, how much resistance the parents are towards coming up. Well, why is that, do you feel? Can you see how our children can teach us so much about just being ourselves and just being the person we are inside? And can you see how often, how shut down we are to just being the person we are inside? So if there's only one positive message I'd like to say, it's look really clearly at your children because that's what you're going to become like in the end. You're going to become like these spontaneous beings that are full of joy and laughter and want to be outside playing rather than being inside here learning some intellectual things. And you will get the same way. You will actually get the same way in your own progression. And to not be afraid of that, that's a beautiful space to be in. And that's also the space where you're going to connect to God the most if you desire to connect to God. And this is a learning process for all of us, an exploration. And if you watch the way children learn, it's through experimenting. They're not cynical. They give it a go. They don't care where the information's coming from. They just want the... They're happy to be learning about things. So we can, we can learn from them in that way. So if you can just keep those things in mind, I know we haven't been through a lot of the second half of the outline that I gave you yesterday, but have a good look at some of those things in that outline because what it will do is help you become more spontaneous, more acting, acting on your desire, and bear in mind that every single thing your child is experiencing is a result of the law of attraction event for you. And if you can keep that in mind, you're going to find progression a lot easier you know, through, through your spiritual progression towards God. And if we are a child, we'll also find that dealing with things openly and honestly, like many of the children and, and teenagers here today have, can be a lot, uh, is a very fast way to connect you with your emotion. You notice how rapidly the children, each one of the children connected to their emotion, and you notice as an adult how how much more slowly most of the parents connected to their emotion? Did you see that contrast? That's what you're going to become like, those children who connect with their emotion just by saying something, straight into the emotion. And so uh, that's where you're headed, and I think that's a beautiful place to be. The more I get closer to that place, the better my life feels, and I'm pretty sure that yours will feel the same way too.